Jack, thanks. Um, I recognise that a lot of my pain comes from my mum's, or my avoidance of pain, comes from my mum's desperate desire to avoid her pain, as well as my own doing. But so how do I approach that element of it and feeling about that? Well, firstly, Michaela, that's not true. Okay. Okay, so we need to see where all, most of our pain comes from. Most of our pain comes from my, my pain comes from my personal choice. <laughs> That's where the majority of my pain comes from. No other source. Right? So that's number one. <coughs> now, in your case, you've got a personal choice to av avoid feeling some of your mum's projections at you. Right? Why is that? Can you feel about why that is? Uh, cause why do you go along with mum? Because she'll freeze me out or not love me if I, if I don't follow what she's doing yes so she already doesn't love you and you're not coming to terms with that emotionally you're not allowing yourself to feel the pain of the fact that she doesn't love you and that's your personal choice that's not her choice you're wanting her to change first you understand you want her to love you and so you're doing everything you possibly can to get her to love you first right but, but the personal choice you're making is waiting for another person to remove your sin. Right? And your sin is not choosing to love yourself and remove yourself from a person who doesn't love you. And you obviously have investments as to the reason why you want that. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. So, so this is the thing. We need to see our decisions as our personal choice. Our pain in our life is the result of our personal choice. It's just not always in the way we imagine it is. So, so in your case, you might have thought, well, you know, mum's doing this and mum's doing that and mum's doing this and that's what's causing me pain. And I'm suggesting to you, no, mum's doing all those things and that is her choice. You not choosing to remove yourself from her is what's causing your pain. If you feeling like you need her for whatever it is that you need her for. And particularly when you've got a child and you, you feel alone, alone with a child and so forth, you think you need your mum and you think, you know what I mean? There's a whole th heap of things you think you need that you won't be able to cope with without. And so we then compromise ourselves, compromise love of self, and a lot of personal pain is the result of my personal choice to compromise love of self. And that's the source of a lot of your pain. Your willingness to compromise your love of self. That make sense? So, so remember a few days ago we mentioned that there's three primary loves that we need to work out to get in harmony with with our will. The first one was our love of God, the second one was the love of self, and the third one was the love of others, right? That's the three primary loves, right? Now, can you see you're, you're sacrificing yourself? And you don't see it as a sin. You sort of see it as, you know, mum's sin. Mum's wanting you to sacrifice yourself. And I agree she does. But you sort of see it as her sin causing your pain. And I'm saying, no, no, it's your sin to sacrifice yourself that's causing your pain. Does that make sense? You could choose to not sacrifice yourself. And even though mum wants you to, you don't do it. And under those, those situations, you won't have that same pain anymore. You follow? Yes. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. So, so we've got to see that our pain... like. Many of you have this belief that with regard to pain, that God's sort of a bit unfair. Like somebody else does something wrong and you feel pain as a result of it, is the way you see it. Huh? Now to me, if that were actually true, and it's definitely not true, but if that were actually true, that means that God would be very unfair. Why, 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 would, like, why would God do such a thing? Like, I, I don't know, like, would you do such a thing? Like if, if, I went and did, if I went and punched Corny in the nose and then you felt pain because of it, <laughs> would that be <laughs> very fair? Right? It wouldn't be, would it? So, so obviously we've got to get down to this idea or concept which is actually true and that is that 
the pain that I personally experience is a direct result of the choices that I am personally making. So, so that's called responsibility. The pain that I am personally experiencing is a direct result of the choices I am personally making. Right? And, and I've had to come to terms with that myself because it, 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 initially everything inside of you rebels against that fact. It does. It goes, but what about when this person does that to me? And what about when that person does this to me? And so forth. And, but once you work your way through it all emotionally, you get to the stage where you realise, actually, I can either accept this treatment or, or not accept it. I have the choice. My, my will has, I have the choice with my will as to what I accept and what I process and what I don't. I've got full control over what I do, not, not control over anybody else. And, and you also come to see that God has created this beautiful system where, where if I'm in pain, it's the, it's the direct result of my personal choice. So that's my feedback mechanism. I'm in pain. I must be out of harmony to love, not somebody else. You follow? So when, when I feel my, back, my lower back pain, I'm not going, it's all your fault, even though I'm standing up in front of you for hours, and it's the only time I feel back pain is when I'm standing up in front of you as a group. I'm not going, it's all your fault. I'm going, oh, hang on a sec. There's something in this interaction with the group that causes this. Do you follow? There's got to be, there's something, my, my, something in my choice that causes this. I need to examine what that is for myself, what, what it is. It's obviously a love of self issue, right? So I've got to, because it's lower back, second shower, or you know, you can go through all the theory if you want, but I can feel that it obviously is. So I've got to feel what it is. And what do I primarily feel from the group, this group? Well, I primarily feel sort of disbelief a lot of the times, a desire to not agree, a lack of trust, quite a lot of other issues, right, which I feel from the group. And I go, okay, so, so those emotions projected at me cause my back to react the way they do. So, so why is that? What choices am I making as a result of that, of those projections? What, what, because my pain is my pain. It's caused by what I'm doing, not by what you're doing. It's caused by what I'm doing. The same applies to you. If you have pain, it's caused by what you're doing. Now, the world is way out of harmony with love of self. Right? We, we don't know how to love ourselves very much at all. We believe sacrifice is love, sacrifice of self primarily. I used to be really, really bad with it. Like Before I was 33, I'd work myself in the ground for other people. I, I was a minister of religion that didn't get paid. So, I, so I, everything I did was voluntarily. Very voluntarily, I worked three, like two to five days a week, and then on top of that, I did at least the same amount of time, more than forty hours a week, doing the religious stuff for other people, right? And I ran myself right into the ground. Mo physically, I was, you know, th in my thirties, and I was a bit of a wreck, right? Not a bit of a record. I was getting sick every month. You know, for, I'd be sick every month for a week, solid in bed, sick for a month, e every month for one week, without fail. Uh, body's trying to tell me you're doing too much. You're not looking after yourself. Not loving yourself. And I'm just ignoring it, and ignoring it, ignoring it because I just feel like I have to do things for other people all the time, right? So I, it's my choice. I'm I'm choosing that. That's why it's happening. I need to see it as my choice, you see. So what I'd recommend for yourself, Michaela, is to see the personal choice to not love yourself and to see that your mum wants you to make that choice and you feel like you have to to get more love from her. And I would suggest to you that actually a person who wants you to make the choice to not love yourself already doesn't love you. And, and you just don't want to come to terms with the fact she doesn't. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, uh, come down to Ivana and then cross to...